In this lesson, we're going to learn how to interpret dot plots. What exactly is a dot plot? A dot plot is a statistical graph that displays data or information. This is easiest to understand by looking at an example. Suppose that a science class takes a test. The teacher wants to display the grades that students earned and decides to use a dot plot. On the number line, the teacher puts the number of points that students earned and puts one dot for each student score. One dot above the 60 means one student earned a grade of 60 points. Two dots above the 65 mean that two students earned a grade of 65. We have seven dots above the 70, so seven students earned a grade of 70. And the teacher continues the process, putting one dot for each student on the dot plot. A dot plot is useful because you can analyze the information and you can answer many questions. Let's take a look at some possible questions that we might ask. One question is how many students earned a particular score? How many students earned a score of 85? We look at the dot plot and find the score of 85 points and count the dots. There are five dots, so five students earned a score of 85. How many students earned a score greater than 85 or higher than 85? We look at the scores that are above 85 and we count the dots. There are four dots, so four students earned a score greater than 85. How many students earned a score of 85 or higher? That would be including 85 and going above. We count the dots. We see that there are nine of them. And so we have nine students who earned a score of 85 points or higher. There are other types of questions we could answer as well. How many students took the science test? Since each dot represents one student, we simply count all of the dots. There are 26 of them. So 26 students took the science test. What is the mode or the most frequent score earned on this test? Look for the score that has the most dots. That would be 70. 70 has seven dots, so the mode is 70. We can also use the dot plot to analyze for the minimum and the maximum score. The minimum score is the lowest score that has a dot above it. On this dot plot, the minimum score is 60. 60 points is the minimum. The maximum score is the highest score that has any dots above it. On this dot plot, the highest score is 100, and so the highest score is 100 points. We can also use this to determine the range of the scores. Remember, range is maximum minus minimum. The maximum was 100, the minimum was 60. That gives us a range of 40 points. The students' scores spread over an interval that was 40 points wide. We could also ask some questions involving percentages. What percent of the students scored 70? If we look at the 70, we see that there are 7 dots. 7 out of 26. 7 out of 26 is 0 0.26923 approximately which is about 26.9%. What percent of students scored 70 or below? We look at the scores that are 70 or below and we count the dots. There are 10 of them, 10 out of the 26 total. 10 divided by 26 is approximately 0 0.384615. Converted to a percentage, that's approximately 38.5%. So about 38.5% of the students scored 70 or below. You can see that the dot plot holds a lot of information. By working with dot plots and knowing how to interpret them, you can develop a good understanding of a situation. This is everything you need to know to get started interpreting dot plots. You can learn more about dot plots and statistics in Mr. Dory's Algebra Handbook, available at www.dorypublications.com.